Lucas, dude, you sneakily have one of the best Instagram pages on this Yankees team right now. And we're here to take a look at some of the top forum posts. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's do it. First one, you got a personal barber at home, man, to keep you looking fresh. Yeah, that was uh, the moment in time where it was time to go bald. <laughs> so I knew my daughter couldn't mess it up. So I said, go for it, just have fun. You know, it was the one time I wasn't worried about my haircut. Yeah, well, it looks good now, and does she still do it? No, now we go a clean razor, so I'm not letting that happen. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet. How about the mustache? So the mustache is a good look. Do you let her touch that at all? Same thing, off limits. Uh, this is the only facial hair I can have, so <laughs> it's my precious right now. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. All right, you also have other kids, and right here, your youngest one, man. This was such a special video, him watching you during spring training. Yeah, when my wife sent that to me, I kind of got a little emotional because, like, that's kind of what it's all about for me. Uh, everybody's kind of asked me why have I kept playing, and it's really been for my kids, especially my boys, to watch me on TV and actually know, like, hey, that's dad. That's what he's doing. So uh, that one's my favorite video just because, you know, it's just the raw emotion of him thinking I can hear him, thinking he can, like, talk to me. I love how much of a family man that you are. And I'm sure that they're pumped at home watching this. And also, too, we're going to see your other sons swing right here. So everybody in the in the Lucas Lickey family is getting some love right now. Yeah, and that's uh, another great thing. You know, I got to go home and coach him uh, in his first kind of Little League action. So same thing. That's just what I enjoy. I enjoy doing the Little League stuff, doing the coach and the basketball. Uh, to bring joy to the game so it's not so serious. So much right now, especially with baseball, with younger kids is like, they think they're going to college at the age of seven. Mm. Uh, so I try to bring the fun back into it and be like, hey, it's not that serious. Just have fun, let them play in the dirt, let them do whatever they want. And that was a special kind of thing that you also got to do too while you're recovering from injury. So you got a chance to be at home and have those special moments with all of them, which is awesome to see you coaching out there. Yeah, it's one of those, like I said, when I was hurt with TJ, it was unfortunate but I got to do the whole dad thing year round, mm -hmm. which my wife appreciated, my kids appreciated, and I appreciated it. So uh, like I said, it was, there's pros and cons to everything. That was the biggest pro of being hurt is getting to do the normal dad stuff. Yeah, and you've been doing this for a long time, so how many more innings does that arm have left in you? Because who knows, maybe one day you'll be throwing in BP or uh you never know, on the same team, you could, some of these guys go pretty deep into their, uh, into their career. I don't, I don't think I'll ever play on the same team as my kids. Uh, I mean, if I do, congratulations to myself. Uh, no, I got, I'm going I'm to play as long as they let me. Yeah. You know, uh, at some point I will call it quits just to go home and be with the kids because I don't want to miss out on their life. At the end of the day, this is a job, but family is more important to me. So at some point I'll have the decision, but right now we're good. All right, like you said, family man, here you are at Disney. Nice family picture, you got the Mickey Mouse get up on. Yeah, we did that this off season. Uh, it was an experience. Uh, that was my first Disney experience. Uh, so me and my kids got to do it together. We were exhausted. I don't know when the next time we're going back, but it'll be a few years from now. I said, if we win the World Series, you know, like everybody else would be going to Disneyland. So. Yeah. Hey, well, I know you love to dress up and I was kind of hoping that you're going to be in some sort of Buzz Lightyear or, or Woody outfit right here. But uh, this is another great picture that you got, Toy Story Land. I, I wore that shirt today too, somehow, <laughs> uh, shockingly. Uh, That's amazing. No, man, that, that place is a blast. I understand why it costs so much because they go to every little detail for every ride, everything around the park. Uh, so, and the good thing about this, like the Toy Stories, I watched those as kids. Yeah. Somehow they're still relevant, so I get the enjoyment and nostalgia while my kids get to enjoy it as well. Dude, amazing, amazing. And here you go. So we see a lot of smiles in <laughs> this one picture at your buddy's birthday party. You got the mean mug going. Are you just trying to match your daughter right there or what? Yeah, she wasn't too <laughs> thrilled about being part of that, so we are just trying to make her get through it. You know, sometimes with kids, you got to force them to do stuff, and that was one of those times. Did you guys save the caricature? It's somewhere at our house. Dude, you are a great husband also. The office theme party for your wife's birthday after she ran a half marathon. What a what a guy. Jeez. I know. Uh, <laughs> so the office is kind of, I feel like every couple has a nighttime like go to bed show. And the office has been our go to bed show for years and years. Uh, we kind of live our life through it sometimes. We'll just catch ourselves talking in quotes. 
I wanted to throw her a big party, she didn't want one, so I thought that would be the best birthday party she can get is the office theme. Out of all the characters in that show, who's your favorite? I mean, obviously Michael Scott. When he left, it kind of went a different direction. Besides that, Kevin. Okay, okay, Just there a, you go. a dry sense of humor, plain Jane, but hilarious. So like I said, your wife ran a half marathon that day. And then also, too, you guys did a color run. So who's the big runner in the family? Is it her? We both kind of have that tick of like wanting to accomplish something that we know is hard. Uh, so for her, her is the half marathon. I couldn't do that one because it wouldn't be good for me for baseball and I just don't want to. Mm -hmm. But it's like the color runs are a simple like 5K. It makes our kids, you know, get active with us. And it's fun. Like, you know, they throw color all over you. The kids love it. Yeah. So we try to do our best to get outside and stay off the TV as much as possible. Well, definitely shows. And how did this come about? Paul Wong. <laughs> this is pretty cool. And when your son looks back on this picture, he's He's gonna realize how uh, how cool it was too, I'm sure. My gym, I work out back at home, hosts an annual ping pong tournament. And this was the same year the Astros won the World Series. And so we had some Astros players like Bregg McRae worked out there. And that year Paul Wall made him a song for winning the World Series. So it all just kind of came together at the same place. We were doing the ping pong tournament. They knew him and were like, hey, will you come perform You know, at the ping pong event? And they did. I saw my opportunity and I went for it. And I'm a big Paul Wall fan, so took yeah. advantage of it. Yeah, adds uh, some street cred and also too, would you ever rock a chain like he does? I'm not so much the chain, I want the grill. Dude, yes. <laughs> you know, at my bachelor party, uh, I wanted to start off at Dave and Buster's. And so we won enough tokens to where I got me a grill. So I had <laughs> me a, a grill for my wedding day. Uh, but the full out diamond grill has always been my goal. Oh, that's amazing. I don't know how we didn't see or how you didn't post any of the grill photos from the wedding day, man. That would have been fun to show off. There's, still have it. there's one somewhere out there, I just don't know where. One photo that's great, and one of your buddies who's actually in your wedding, and this made headlines everywhere when you first came to the Yankees, but your buddy Emmanuel Sanders, a, a NFL wide receiver, the dude's a stud. That's so cool that you guys are literally doing the highest level of what each of you do in your given profession, man. That's Talk about surrounding yourself with successful people. It's kind of weird and we talk about it all the time, how amazing it is. You know, we're both from the same hometown, you know, 3,000 people. We came up together playing Little League, basketball, everything on the same team our whole lives, you know, graduated together. Uh, and I don't think either one of us, if you talk to us in high school or even college, were like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it to the next level. Mm -hmm. uh, we were just kind of living our life and doing our thing and then Slowly but surely, it just started happening. And then once we kind of got up there, we were feeding off each other. Like the year I was hurt, he was recovering from Achilles. So we got together once a week, did recovery together, you know, talked about it. Like he taught me a lot about the mental part of the game, which I had never dealt with. So man, we're both so proud of each other and, you know, kind of where we are. And like last year was awesome, both being in New York. You know, he got to come to some games here and uh, we ended up we even met at a Brooklyn Nets game for the playoffs last year so nice it, it was just a cool experience from two kind of small town kids to be in New York City together you know for different professions but at the highest level when it comes to uh, football season fantasy football are you trying to get him onto your team is it is it one of those types of things and you mess around with them after games like hey thanks for the uh, seven points we we try <laughs> but my league i'm in is my hometown league okay. so it's all guys who grew up with him so he's pretty a hot commodity usually this might be one of the hardest pictures you've ever posted <laughs> on your instagram page this, this one's unique and then see if you zoom in you got the chain there you go. It says L train on it. Uh, <laughs> As the train is going by right now, it might be a sign that you have to bring it back and bring it to the Bronx, man. Just whip it out. The L you train know, that's chain. what I, my goals in life were to play basketball. I wanted to play at UNC, and unfortunately, I just stopped growing. I couldn't yeah. shoot well enough. I couldn't jump high enough. So I realized where I was better. But my whole life growing up, I was out in the driveway playing basketball, imagining playing for UNC. And also, too. You were palming both these basketballs, you got the... Yeah, the right hand's a little tougher. Wow. Uh, Good for you, man. I could handle my own. All right, all right. Uh, that was honorable mention. This guy's a stud. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is pretty wild. So we talked a lot about your family, and we talked about uh, just loving baseball, loving basketball, loving football. But this is kind of crazy, this mug right here. That was kind of, me and my now wife went on a date in college, and uh, she wanted to go to a pottery decorating place. 
And I was like, sure. So you get there, you pick out whatever you want to color. And so I picked a mug and you have to create an idea to put on there. So I thought, why don't I put on my favorite teams and my current team? So I put my high school logo, junior college, Cowboys, Yankees, mm -hmm. and just kind of every team that I was either a part of or follow. Mm -hmm. And I've kept that mug, I still have it. And all of a sudden, you know, we get to talking, you know, last year off season. And my agent's like, hey, the Yankees called, you know, it, it progresses and I sign with and I'm like, you know, and this kind of clicks in my head. I was like, I got a mug with the Yankees on it. You know, I got to find this thing. And sure enough, it was still there. And I was like, that's spoken into existence, man. Dude, it's so wild. And that's when you and your now wife are just dating. Yeah. Like this is like, this is completely coming full circle, which is wild. Yeah. No, I mean, there was no rhyme or reason to it. Otherwise, I was just putting my favorite teams and the teams I've been a part on on it. And like I said, here I am now. Yeah. All right. So did you drink out of this cup this morning? Do you still have it here No, in it, it's not here in New York. No, okay. I didn't travel. I was the first few months because my family wasn't here. I was in a hotel, so I don't travel with any okay. uh, dishes or anything. Like <laughs> we see all these Instagram posts, like I said before, huge family man, huge sports guy. What would you say is your favorite part about social media? Uh, to me, it's kind of like my newspaper. So, you know, when I'm drinking my coffee in the morning, I'm going through Twitter because I, I follow things I'm interested in. And that's mostly Twitter. The Instagram and Facebook is how I keep up with my friends and family back home. Now's the time for the plug. So why should all the Yankees fans and baseball fans, just sports fans in general, anybody out there watching this, why should they follow you? And what do you have to offer? Uh, I mean, I try to give a good insight of what we do, especially in the off season. I'll post a lot of like bullpen videos because I've had friends who tell me they don't get to see that view of whether it's straight behind the pitcher or from the catcher's aspect. So I kind of bring, you know, what we go through on a daily basis and uh, kind of what an inside of like what a pitch movement looks like. You know, my phone has hundreds of videos of myself because I film almost every bullpen I throw. It's something I think is cool, so that's why I post a lot of it. Awesome. And where's the handle so everybody can follow along? I know they've been on the screen the entire time. It's very simple. Time at, for the plug. At Lucas Lakey. There you on go. On everything. And Lucas, thank you so much for your time, brother. I appreciate you having me. <laughs>